first Jank was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I did to Rice, and the Saviors decided to give me a hand to help me get to Sector Zero. Um, just make our way through these sewers, and then we'll be in a completely new map that we've not seen uh, so far in this series. Quite dark in here. Crane? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. So the uh, the benefit of having a closed indoor area like this is that the frame rate just shot up as soon as I came in. Okay, from here on out you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. See, I don't know why one by he one. can't come and with this me. This man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here. There's something fishy going on here. Probably not though. Let's go. Well, there totally is. I'm going to spoil it, but something's going to happen. It's some really disturbing floating physics in this game. <laughs> For sure, they're just bobbing around in the water. Oh god, that's actually making me a little bit nauseous. <laughs> so in this room in particular, you can tell um, uh, with the frame rate, it's just lightning fast. Well, actually, maybe you can't uh, over the stream. I don't know, or or on the video later. That's a good point. But playing the game, I can uh, I can definitely attest it. Uh, a lot different. Well, not different, but I can just I can notice it very clearly here. Infected and never a problem for me, mate.
There's a few more infected uh, than I would like to be able to say that they did a good job of clearing it out, but um, it's not so bad. The trusty hatchet. Short work of these pesky undead. Alrighty. So, I'm gonna mm, rub all this zombie juice on me. Mmm, lovely. Just wanna see how well this camouflage works. Also, how well my attack while camouflaged uh, perk works. Fucking hell. I'd say that works pretty well. That seems like quite a powerful uh, tool to have in your arsenal, this. For sure. I mean, I'm just chopping them down and they're not even noticing me. That's uh, brilliant. Nice. Nice. Oh goodness. Let's go and uh, reapply some juice. Oh, oh. He doesn't like it, does he? Good old crane. Although I wouldn't, though, to be fair. There's quite a few of them here. Thankfully, I do have my Molotov, although I don't know how well that would work if I throw it in a puddle of water. Ah, oh, what the hell, let's just see. I don't know if the game takes that into account. And besides, it's flammable liquid anyway, so... It seems to have uh, worked quite well. Yeah. For sure. So maybe give these guys over here the same treatment. Yay! Mate, you forgot your leg! Oh god, oh god. So this guy doesn't give a shit about my camouflage. Maybe he just doesn't know that he's supposed to leave me alone. God, that piece of rebar has got such a reach on it. I mean, I dodged twice there. And he still uh, got me with it. Although, saying that, I just dodged twice there as well, and he didn't get me, so... Uh, could be that the first time I, uh, I just didn't do it very well. There is a possibility of that. Absolutely. Oh, fuck, do you want? Get down from there. We could do this forever. Get down. Alright, let's kill him. Did I get him? I think so. I think that's his head. Her head. Yeah, she's dead. And so is he. Fuck you, motherfucker.
Both your legs off. Oh man, I'm sorry. I feel a little bit bad about that. Quite cool that you can just tell by the outfit that this is a, a runner that's uh, turned. It's a neat little touch. Like they're not just um, your average villagers anymore. That looks mean. Like, <laughs> that looks proper evil. Is my inventory really that full? Well, it's not very big. Could have something to do with it. Uh, I'll skip it for now. There'll be other weapons later. Besides, as we saw, I've, I've got a fucking 700 damage weapon in my inventory. Actually, screw that, I've got... Uh, let me find it. A 1,039 damage weapon. So, even though that uh, evil looking hatchet there is a little bit more powerful than what I'm carrying right now. Um, I just, I know I'm not missing out on much by uh, by not taking that with me. So, screw it. It's fine. We can safely leave it behind. And, ah, fuck it. I'm not going to pick that lock now. Uh, right, where the hell do I go? There's somewhere I'm supposed to. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to go up here. Okay. Spit. Just throw an axe at him. I think that killed him. Alright. Let's just heal up a little bit. Let's see if he has any good stuff for us. He had 85 bucks in total, that's not bad. Why the hell do I go from here? Okay, up this way. Come on, shimmy up the drain pipe. There we go.
friend. Sorry, but uh, I had no choice. Rise has me by the balls. Wait. What, what, what are you, you talking about? What I had to. <laughs> what can I say? The world is an unforgiving place. Can we go up here? No. Okay, so there's something bad waiting for us, uh, obviously. Just ahead. Uh, just to be prepared. I'm going to quickly equip um, my rifle. Look at my minimap, you see uh, things uh, are not looking very good. We've in fact been ambushed by Rias's men. God damn you, Rias! Go back and murder them all. I got you. No. Uh, if you just saw me kick. That was me following my uh, first person shooter instincts and uh, trying to aim down the sights. Uh, which is a uh, kick in this game. And aiming is actually uh, right stick. About time. Shit, I'm nearly dead. Time to medkit up. Maybe try and flank him from the other side. I mean, I have to say that it's definitely noticeable that this isn't, um... This is not a first-person shooter. It's kind of awkward. Uh, the shooting controls, sort of clumsy. I mean, thankfully, I don't think it has too many shooting sections. At least it hasn't had up until now. It's been uh, basically this bit here, and then that part in the parking garage in, in Rice's, uh tower which I can I can deal with you know it's uh it's fun to shoot and it has a it's got a nice sound to it that's for sure I think this is where I'm supposed to go And also, just in case I uh, encounter any more zombies, I'm, uh, I don't really want to use the rifle anymore. I think I'll limit the use of the rifle to um, uh, rifle wielding enemies. I think that's the best idea. in this chest.
shit, where are they? How long are we supposed to wait for them? As long as it takes. Relax. You got something better to do? Enjoy the peace and quiet. Get him! Reckon, do you copy? Crane here. What's going on, mate? Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Oh, the saviors, the saviors, how you let me down. Never mind. Onwards to level two. Saviors my ass. The bastards are working with rice. They ambushed me and I barely got past them. So much for trusting people. Here goes nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right. It's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, it's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? F fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way, and we'll be waiting. So, Dr. Camden, ahead. do you copy? Crane here. Camden, can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes, I hear you. What's going on? I'm in Sector Zero. Is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of Rise and his thugs. You okay? Trapped inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First, I have to find Jade and recover Zera's research. Okay, I'll sit tight then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. It's too much talking at the moment. Too much talking. Anyway, uh, this is Dr. Camden. He is uh, Zera's research partner who was stuck in this part of town. Which, uh, I have to say, is definitely uh, quite pretty. It's uh, the scenic part of the town, that's, uh, that's for sure. Anyway, so those two towers straight ahead is uh, where we're going, so let's just go there. There's someone here. I don't like American movies. Not anymore. Okay. Sorry, didn't Thanks for, what'd you say? Thanks for that. American movies. My mother took me. Always on Thursday nights. After she got home from work. She would take me and my little brother to the cinema. Mm. We loved the movies from your country. <laughs> You've got mail, the Matrix, singing in the rain. Oh, especially singing in the rain. We loved them. We loved Haran too. But our city was nothing like the sights your film showed us. Oh, so, uh, what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? You know what went wrong. Venture outside and it becomes painfully obvious. <sighs> but that is not why I Well, I was going to say, I mean, zombies now. everywhere is, is not a reason to uh, not like Hollywood they films. They betrayed me. They promised me 
How do you say it? A Hollywood ending. Everyone lives happily ever after. There is no such thing. I mean, not that I disagree with the sentiment. Uh, most American films are absolute shit. I mean, most films uh, are not very, not very good. There's, there's good cinema being made, but yeah. Anyway, uh, but wow, this is uh, fucking banal and ridiculous and pointless. God damn. I, I don't know why I went in here. What a waste of time. You can't just sit around in a zombie apocalypse moaning about the state of cinema. What's that all about? You should be out picking medium difficulty locks. Sitting right outside your house. You know, you should get out there. Pick those locks. And take home... Uh... Clubs, sticks, I don't know, uh, and pouches full of valuables. Yeah, jump across. I would, oh, would have liked to drop kick her off the roof, but uh, I missed my chance. Fuck. I like the parkour in this, but uh, I mean, first person platforming will always be uh, less than uh, less than perfect. I'd say maybe even less than good. Because when you have no, um, is it spatial awareness? It's called like when you know where your body is in relation to other things. Like, that's what helps us, um, uh, manoeuvre, you know, that's what helps us move around without crashing into everything is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's called spatial awareness, but that's just something that you don't have, uh, when you play games. Like, I mean, I can look down and see where his feet are, but when it comes to like this, I have no idea, sort of, exactly where I am, uh, in relation to the world around me. Like, I couldn't tell you when uh, my feet go too far over this ledge. I, I think I'm explaining this very poorly, but hopefully uh, you sort of understand what I mean. Um, but yeah, and that's why first person platforming is... Uh, is not the best person platforming. Hey, chase me, I'd have your arm off for that, mate. God, they just keep coming. I think he fell to his death, and I think he was the last of them, so... Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. Crane! <laughs> it's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. Almost rigged a way to break through the comm jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. I mean, for being a city in the Middle East, there's quite a lot of people, uh... You're looking for Jade Aldemir, Doing you? bad English yeah, accents. Yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is? Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade, hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rise's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Uh, please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is... The GRE hired me, all right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this this classified file, but 
But that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. You bastard! You bastard! Jade! Jade! Damn it. Crane. The last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. Nods. Nods sagely. <clears throat> All right. So, we did it. We uh, successfully navigated our way from uh, the slums of Haran over to the... Uh, Beautiful old town. Uh, shame I had to do it twice, but you know, there we go. And um, yeah, that's uh, what I wanted to do. I um, think it's time to uh, to end the stream there, but uh, but we'll be back. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, not leave it anywhere near as long until next time. Uh, thank you for watching, have a good day, and uh, see you later.